Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new FPV goggle. This is a new uh, chin model. This is the EV800D, and this model is not only including a diversity versus the former original version, but also a built in DVR able to record in theory correctly either an NTSC or pair source. Of course, we will check that fact. So, let's discover a little bit the content of this box. So, let's see what we have. So, first of all, we have uh, the uh, model, and let's compare immediately with the former original EV800. So, as you can see, in terms of mask, we still have this very beautiful and nice plastic, matte plastic, so very soft when you touch it. But they change, I would say, all the main button interface. So, bye bye the mono uh, antenna uh, solution. Okay, and this uh, tiny button, okay, but now we have more a uh, diversity system and in the middle we can find the micro SD slot for the built-in DVR. Okay, we will enter into the detail of the other button roll in few instants. What we have in common now, we have the uh, headphone and now the headphone plug for the new version can be used also to input an AV source, that's great. If you have any things you want to display with this goggle, it will be possible. Let's check the other side. What we have, the same uh, power connector unit, okay? So a plus five volt is uh, actually uh, expected. So let's compare a little bit the head strap. Did they improve a little bit the situation? Seems to be, look that, no more strap like on the former. Now you can tune a little bit better the uh, length of the both uh, lateral, two lateral strap and the uh, more upper one. We have the same uh, facial, facial sponge, okay? So for very hot temperature, probably we will sweat a bit, okay? But uh, it's good and uh, why I really appreciate with this uh, mask is the large nose section. If you need some information about the length of this one, okay, we you can expect something about more than uh, 40, uh, 40 millimeters, 4 centimeters for the nose section is great. I will give immediately the uh, main opening size. So if you are uh, wondering if my uh, glasses uh, will uh, Correction glasses will be okay. So you have something about uh, 12, 11 uh, millimeters. And in fact, if you push a bit the sponge, you have something close to uh, 12 centimeters. For the uh, height of it, so I will take the minimum value. You have something about 50 uh, millimeters. Okay, so uh, for most of uh, glasses, I think it will be possible to fit. And the distance, okay, for the Fresnel lens is quite acceptable. We have close to 15 millimeters before to meet uh, the uh, Fresnel lens. This one has been upgraded with a factor of three, for, uh, magnifying factor of three, so a little bit better. So it should be a little bit more adapted for uh, any type of myopia, myopia but this compared to the uh, VR D2 or the D2 Pro, we don't have any uh, slider button to adjust uh, the fresh and less distance. So it means that it will be uh, fixed. And if you, uh, for you is not uh, in focus, you will have to design your own installation, okay, with some hot glue, some stuff like this. There is a lot of tutorial to uh, install uh, some uh, glasses inside to correct your myopia. So on the lower side you can find an M6 uh, screws to attach uh, to a tripod. Tripod is great and like the former OV800 uh, you can split into this uh, goggles to transform it into a 5 inch FPV monitor. It's great, it's super easy to attach and to reinstall like this. It takes just a fraction of a second. So um, both like the former, you have a built-in battery and it's really, really good because you have at least one hour and a half of usage. That's great. And how to power the uh, FPV Google, you have to long press this um, power button here. Okay. And when it's done, you have this green LED appearing and you have this uh, logo of Urachin and the presence of white snow indicating that you have a firmware FPV friendly. How to turn off? You have to press the same button more than five seconds. One, two, three, okay, and it's done. I will return on again. One, two, okay, we have the Urachin logo appearing, okay, and then we have 
all the information. So, for example, on the top left, you can find the information about the diversity. So I am in a diversity channel, okay, and as well as the current band and the current uh, and the exact frequency. So actually, I'm the Boscan band in 5,645 megahertz, the fourth uh, frequency in the Boscan band. So a uh, good news, you can of course run a sc full scanning thanks to this uh, button here the church or manually select the band and uh, the frequency so if you short press on this button indicated by ch plus band plus you will cycle between the frequencies inside the selected current band let's check that okay now it's in red six seven eight a return to one cycle okay and i will return to the four if you long press on it you will select the band let's do it look that now i've got the c letters in red d r a b and c okay so um, to uh, disable this uh, feature you have to press any other type of button so thanks to the um, source button if you short press on it you will be able to select one of the four type of sources diversity the left source antenna the right source and the av in we saw here on the right side okay so how to proceed short press look that i am now in rfb rf r and look that they are set to different frequencies it's very funny or strange but you can have different frequency between diversity channel a or b okay and if i press the four time i am in avian okay so uh is expecting a source and you can use one of the provided plug it's great okay here and with the never have a hint source you can display it as great they give a bundle so and if you press one more time you will return to the diversity and the white snow is here on the right okay top right we have a battery indication status okay i'm currently at three two bar over three and when you you will have only one it will become red and start to flash okay in a low value condition nothing else so it's just great um, now how to enter into the menu you have to press the same source button but more long time more than three seconds and you will enter okay and you have this uh, all this choice okay dvr bright contrast color sharpness etc and this uh, menu disappear after a couple of seconds so i will repress again okay and how to navigate you have to sorry you have to okay i will re-enter you have to press this uh, the same button short and you will go down and if you want to change the for example the brightness you have either the plus value which is church button with that i'm 51 or the minus button which is search plus band plus it's not super obvious sorry it was uh, the power button so i will we do again this is the power button Oh, no it was search plus band plus so you can increase with this one and decrease with search plus band plus it's not super obvious okay so now i'm set and you have uh, something very interesting you have the uh, dvr menu okay so we go here on it and to enter you have to press either church or search plus i would press uh, the church button and you have a chinese message saying that there is no file probably i'm not uh, reading chinese but i guess so as soon as you will have a recorded file on dvr you will be able to access to it and to play replay it. that's great okay so very basic button so how to exit you have to press uh, this uh, power button and you will return to the uh, rf mode um to start recording first you will need to insert a, a class 10 micro sd card okay if you don't have uh, you will have some uh, error message in the file so corrupted file is not very good so to take a picture you have to short press on it and look on the top right you should have uh, something very fast appearing okay some uh, green square i hope you will be able to see okay so i'm shooting some photo and if you long press on it you will have in theory you have to press more than three seconds you should have a red point appearing 
Okay, and the recording is starting. So as long you see this red point, it's recording. So it's a really a big plus versus the VR G2, where you will have to go and navigate your channel to see to send to start the recordings to stop it. It was really annoying. And what I really really like here is that in the same channel you can uh, obviously see the status of the recordings. That's great. To stop recording one more time, short press on it and it will stop releasing the recording. Okay, so long press to start recording, short press to stop recording. And everything on the same uh, Arab channel, that's great. So um, really I like the uh, quality of the pictures. I will start a uh, source, a uh, quadcopter, okay, to see the uh, quality and the difference with, with, with the VRD2, for example. So we have a machine, sorry for the budding, this is the Okay, so I'm not on the right channel, so I have to press the, sorry. Okay, so now I'm on the right channel, you can see the quality. And for pale source, uh, if you have some uh, information on the bottom side, they, are, they will be a little bit cropped, but not so much, it's really appreciated. So I will turn on the VRD2 in comparison, you will see, and that the original, uh, uh, okay, between both one, you will be able to see, okay. So in my point of view, uh, the quality of the heavy uh, 800D is very good. I like the sharpness of the color, a little bit more precise, and we have 600 CD by maybe a square precision versus 500, so a little bit better in that point of view. So really the quality of the display is great. I hope you'll be able to see. And the cropping is more or less the same. Look on the bottom side of the VRT2 versus this one, okay? It's more or less the same. I would say even the cropping is a little bit less with the EV uh, 800D. So it's a, a good thing. So a lot of uh, improvement in my point of view versus the VRD2 Pro, okay? So no the necessity to switch between AV1 and AV2 to uh, play with the DVR and the recording, okay? And it's really a good news. And the good news, we don't have any latency when it's recording. Let's make a try, okay? So no extra latency. Okay, I will start again the machine. Okay, we have the Betafly message. So let's check the little bit the latency. As you can see, super smooth. Okay, and let's turn on recording. Okay, we have recording. Look at that. No delay at all when it's recording. It's great, great. So uh, really, I like it. So only the benefit. Okay, actually we have. So, uh, really appreciate it. So now it's time uh, to make a small comparison in terms of FPV range. I will compare the original version with this uh, uh, new model, okay? And after I will compare uh, with uh, NTSC and uh, pale source if the cropping is here or not. And I will try to synchronize with a 30F high definition uh, camera to see if we are losing some synchronization, okay, versus time, when I selected a pale source or an NTAC. Okay, so let's compare all the boss version, the former on the left, and the new one with the diversity in Cloverleaf and Alf Planner 1. So I won't uh, start the recording, just make you uh, the comparison between the two RX sensitivity of the associated diversity versus the original one. So I will start with this uh, small quadcopter and turn around, okay? So we can see both uh, the FPV rendering, okay? Uh, let's go around the garden.